Wow. Wow. Yo, welcome back to Hot Topics TV, y'all. If you've never been here before, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell next to the subscribe button so you are notified every time a new video goes up on Hot Topics TV. Let's get right into this, though. What's up with this YNW Melly trial, right? Now, I made my predictions, and I said that there's no way he can actually beat this. Um, he's not going to walk. He's going to be found guilty. And I followed the whole trial, pen and paper. I was listening to all the details. I was watching all the testimonies. I was watching all the evidence that was presented, all that. Let me make sure my mic's on. Yeah. And today, we have a mistrial. You know, yesterday when the jury came back so quick, right? The jury came back at seven hours. Seven hours of deliberation. And I was like, that's only a day. Juries, I've seen juries go deliberating for a whole week. So I don't know how they came back already in seven hours with a decision. But today is Saturday. And we get the news on a Saturday. Now, you know, federal buildings are not open on um, weekends. So I was under the impression that they were going to lock it up for the weekend. The jury would be sequestered over the weekend. They would spend their time together in some hotel suite somewhere where they're ordering food in and they're trying to make a decision, right? Or trying to convince that last one person that's standing out, that's saying, that's holding out to come over to that side, whether it's guilty or innocent. Didn't work out that way. They showed up this morning and the decision is... It is what it is. Yo, um, a lot of people now who are YNW Melly fans who actually wanted him to walk, they're under the impression that he gets to walk right away. But that's not how it's going to go. I don't think the prosecution or the state is going to wait five years and waste all that time and resources and all 11 experts and witnesses called to the stand and all that just to throw it away and say, okay, it was a mistrial, we give in, give up the case, let him go home. Melly ain't coming out. It, it, at this point, this is what I've learned that could happen. So, when there's a mistrial, what happens next is a new trial is required, right? The prosecution can say we don't want to do a new trial. It is what it is. And then his lawyers will say, well, if you have nothing more against my client, you got to let him go, send him home. They're still going to be saying that because his lawyer still has a right now to file for him to be out on bail based on the grounds that you did not have enough to prove your case beyond a reasonable doubt, which resulted in a misfire or mistrial <laughs> Either way, same thing. So let my client go. Let him fight this new case that you're going to bring against him from the outside. That's how that's going to go. And I'm absolutely sure that his attorneys are going to ask to have him let out on bail while he fights his case from outside. And I'm absolutely sure that the defense is going to bring up a new case. And that's how that's going to go. So he's going to have a new case, whether he gets let out or not, we don't know at this moment, but I'm thinking they're not going to let him out though, right? Because it's up to the prosecution and they didn't come to play. And for them, this is like, okay, reset, go back in. People might want to know who does this benefit? Does it benefit the prosecution or does it benefit YNW Melly's team? Listen, to go through trial all over again with a new jury, a new set of 12 people. All this mistrial says is these 12, they could not come to a decision collectively as yay or nay. And remember, in this trial, it is required that all 12 jury members are on the same page. Somebody or a couple of people out of those 12 that just judged him, YNW Melly, they did not feel like this should have been guilty or they do not did not feel like this should have been innocent which resulted in a mistrial they all couldn't come together on the same page this gets tried all over again which means 
he's gonna have to go through the motions all over again. A fresh new jury will hear this case. 12 people that have never heard this case before. Now this, I think, is dangerous because this case was well publicized, right? It was, come on, some days you had 60,000 people watching it live, 80,000 people. I think one of the days I looked at it, it was 102,000 people on Law and Crime Network watching this live. So everybody was, and it's carried on all major news networks, so everybody saw it. It's going to be hard for them to find 12 people, 12 jurors of his peers who never saw this know nothing about the case, are not biased in one way or another, it's going to be very hard. Dangerous too, because people can go in here now and infiltrate the jury. They can go in there and say, oh me? Yeah, I'm here for jury duty, judge. Um, what do you know about this case so far? Absolutely nothing. I work two jobs, I'm busy, I'm a father of 10, I blah, blah, blah. And they're like, okay, good candidate. While in the back of my mind, I'm like, yo, that's my artist. He innocent. I don't even care what they want to say. I think he needs to be let go. So I'm always going to vote not guilty. You see what I'm saying? It's not like the first fresh 12 that they got. And it will never be like that again. Because almost everybody has heard this case now or seen it and came to some kind of conclusion while they were watching it whether he was guilty or innocent or whatever. I laid my bones. I said, based on everything I saw, he was guilty. So I would never be a good jury member for this. I'm just putting that out there in case they try to uh, call me in for jury duty, that I'm biased and, and, and based on what I saw, because I already watched the whole case, I already drew a conclusion that he was guilty. So I'm not gonna be a good candidate. So don't send me anything about going to, <laughs> about going to the jury, right? All right, if y'all check it out, right? On another video that I did, I said this. I said that YNW Melly has a lot of people that have big interest in him at this point. Now, y'all got to understand something. Streaming, when you put up a video and the video does 5,000 views, you didn't do anything, right? You put up a video and it does a million views in 24 hours, that's the type of timing that money is on when it comes to streaming. So, just YNW Melly's case, his murder case alone, generated a whole lot of viewership for a lot of networks, even a lot of channels on YouTube, right? So, people, are, people have interest in this. And where do y'all think that $16 million came from that was in his lawyer's bank account? What business do they have that generates $16 million in a couple of months? Uh-huh. There are investors in this. Somebody has a stake in this, right? And I said it. I'll give you an example. I just got finished watching a movie. Look up Woody Harrelson's dad. Woody Harrelson, the Hollywood star. Look up his dad, the documentary about his dad. I'm just saying. It's like this, right? If Melly can generate millions and over a period of time, hundreds of millions of dollars for somebody and can be used to push a certain agenda as well. You know, shoot a nigga in the face, kill him, kill my own kind, uh, that type of stuff, gang gang, all that, you know, gang culture, murder of your own people, promote all that, sipping lean, being inebriated all the time, drinking Hennessy, wah, 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 whatever, you drunk and high and all that. Yeah, wilding out in the system, beat a murder charge, make a song about it, brag about it. All that stuff sells. There's a market for it and it sells and it sells a lot, right? If Melly can generate millions and hundreds of millions over time for somebody and push a certain agenda at the same time, he is more valuable to some people on the outside than he will ever be on the inside. Right. 13 hours of deliberation and the jury could not come up with guilty or innocent. They came up with a mistrial, meaning they couldn't make a decision one way or the other. I'm still sticking to my bones. 
I'm still sticking to what I said was going to happen. I think they're letting him go now. Mistrial now. And he's getting fried in another trial coming up. That's what I'm saying. And now, I, I'm not biased or anything. I followed the trial. And I followed the evidence. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I got from it. I got from it that he's guilty. I got from it that Bortland's guilty as well. And this is something that was planned by Bortland and Melly. And Bortland was, uh, Bortland covered it up with Melly. He did the, he lied for him. He helped him to cover it up. There's a couple of things that, um, come on man. Like for instance, watching Juvie and Sack Chaser go into the vehicle, they had those bags on them that they call satchels. A shootout happens and your vehicle ends up going to the hospital with these two bodies. Their satchels are missing. Where did the satchels go? Right. And remember, once that vehicle gets to the hospital, the vehicle is confiscated by law enforcement and it's been sitting there in lockup ever since because it's evidence two people just got killed in it. So where did their satchels go? And then the next day, the same outfit, the jackets that Juvie and Sack Chaser were wearing in the vehicle, getting in the vehicle that night, Melly and uh, Bortland were wearing them same outfits on the video shoot set, like hours later down in the day. That's wild. That's wild. But maybe they have matching outfits. I don't know. But how do you explain, like, the satchel being missing? It was just too much evidence that pointed to the fact that I think Melly did it. You know, if I was a jury and jury, jury member and I, I was in there, I would have said he did it. Now, what people are uh, bucking for, though, is was he the one that pulled the trigger? And after I saw him get in the car, the blood splatter, how the blood splatter made that pattern in the back seat that clearly showed that somebody was there, the door open, the gunshot that went through the door jam that showed that that door was open when they were shooting it up, staging it from the other side. Uh, Glass testimony, when Glass testified that, yes, that's me on the video, yep, we went in two separate vehicles, yep, I didn't wake up till we got to the guard shack, yep, and when we got to the guard shack and I woke up, Melly was not in the vehicle. The video footage of the vehicle from the guard shack that shows Glass in the car Wide awake, just like he said in his testimony, I mean, it all adds up and points to him. You know what I mean? But I'm sure two things for sure. One, those boys, their parents and their family members, they're hoping that they get some kind of justice for their family members that lost their lives. And I'm sure that Melly's family and his fans and his supporters who truly believe that he did not do it, even some who believe that he did do it, are hoping that he can beat this and get out and get another chance at life. I mean, come on. He was very well on the up and up to being the one to touch millions and hundreds of millions of dollars. And it all stopped. So everybody want to get back to the money. Everybody want to get back to the star exploding and being the star that he was born to be. Everybody want to see that success story. Everybody, everybody that supports him I'm talking about, right? But the, and, and that's what's going on on both sides, man. You know what? I'm going to leave it right here. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me if you saw this coming as a mistrial. Tell me if you think that the new trial with different jury is going to end up ending in guilty now don't forget this i've seen trials tried before i've seen cases tried before where it went to a mistrial twice by two different jury so anything can happen do you think that they're going to fry him in, a, in another trial or should i not say fry him but convict him in another trial did you see this mistrial coming up and you know basically just Say your piece in the comment section below. I'll catch you on the next video. It's Hot Topics TV, and you already know if the topic is hot, we're on it. I'm out. Peace.